What's going on my little piglets? It's your BFF Port Shop here and I'm coming at you with another update with Port Shop. You can see I got my splint or my little immobilizer taken off. They let me keep it as a trophy. But uh, you guys want to see a scar? So warning, this is, a, this is a scar for my stitches. Look at that shit right there. Doesn't it look pretty? Doesn't it look delicious? But anyway, that's how I start the weekend by getting my damn stitches taken out, which I'm okay with because I'm left-handed. So use your imagination, <laughs> but regardless, I'm heading home after getting my stitches taken out and uh, got my Batman sticker because I was a big boy. See, got my Batman sticker. It proves that I was a big boy. I wasn't, I was a little bitch about it. <laughs> Tugging and pulling and yanking them out. And I'm just like, oh, did not feel very good. And uh, so I uh, called them earlier and I was like, cause they told me 10 days. So I was like, is it 10 days from the first day that I got stitches or the day after? And they said that the, the first day is your first day. I'm like, hell yeah, it's been 10 days. I'm gonna be there. So I went and got them taken out, which is good because uh, I'm driving to Albuquerque tomorrow after work. So um, I kind of wanted this taken care of before I headed out. And uh, so, yeah, guys, great week for the channel this week. Fantastic week for the channel this week. I'm gonna talk about the channel and some personal stuff. I uh, got a little bit of the personal stuff out of the way, so now it's time to talk about the channel. The food review, uh, overwhelmingly positive, and I greatly appreciate you guys. Um, definitely something I miss doing for y'all, and definitely something that I'm going to try my damnedest to do on a weekly basis throughout the entire year. Um, I just need to get my scheduling put like pen to paper and uh, figure out like okay, I'll be doing this this weekend or I'll be going out of town this weekend. So therefore I need to record on this day in order for me to have it up by this day and uh, all that jazz. Um, I'm really glad I got this taken off because I am two, well, potentially two episodes left of the Toronto Huskies Madden franchise for the season. Um, and uh, I was going to start the Dallas Aggies as soon as I finished the Huskies so um really glad that i got this taken care of the dallas aggies are going to be the exact same as it was last year i'm going to do the key moments and try my damnedest to win games um if that doesn't happen if i come up short then uh oh well. well we'll see what happens i can only go as far as the key moments will take me um i figure the key moments are a lot more uh doable with the uh the team i've been given because uh, if i had to play a full 60 minute experience of the Dallas Aggies, I might actually start drinking <laughs> because I did a little test run. Um, I think I told you guys about this. I did a test run where I went through, I think, the first like six weeks of the season, and uh, the results yielded interesting. <laughs> That's all I have to tell you. It was interesting, and uh, so hopefully, it'll be something that I can take care of. Um, also, another Madden not series it's going to be a one-off video i asked you guys in the community tab i i have a poll going on right now uh, if i were to do a one-off video of uh rebuilding a madden franchise which one would y'all choose i believe it was the arizona cardinals the houston texans the denver broncos and the indianapolis colts so I gave you that, and you guys are voting right now. The vote will go until, I think, the 23rd? I can't remember what day. It, it, it's either the 23rd or the 24th, uh, or it could be none of the above. But um, when that video comes, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be doing what uh, a bunch of other YouTubers have already done. I'm not, like, creating the wheel here. I'm not reinventing the wheel. I'm just doing um, my best to do what I think would be a good uh, franchise move um, like picking up free agents drafting um, trading cutting promoting you know all that good stuff and uh, we'll go from there we'll see what happens with that um, as of right now the Denver Broncos are leading by one vote against the Houston Texans so if you want the Houston Texans you haven't voted yet go vote if you want the Denver Broncos make the lead even better if you want to pick one of the other two teams, there's still plenty of time. I think there's still uh, about a about a week 
about, I think a week and uh, a few days left for you to vote on that. So just something I'm gonna do, just a one-off video of uh, what, what I just said previously. Um, yeah, the food reviews, hopefully I can get that weekly. I have a food review in mind for next week that uh, I might not be able to record until probably Monday. So I will go out on Monday and record that. Um, and then throughout the entire week, I think I'm just gonna just try to record, try to record, try to record, try to record. Um, I might actually release a poll question for y'all tonight um, regarding the uh, Pokemon Platinum series that I was gonna do. Um, see what you guys think about that. Um, but uh, just uh, wait for the poll and uh, just vote with your vote with your vote vote with your opinion um and so we'll see what happens there um hopefully b before the month is over i can make a top 10 video there's a i want to do at least one top 10 video a month um this month's uh, i haven't decided what i'm gonna do so if you guys have any recommendations please comment below i'd greatly appreciate that and uh do what you gotta do um and uh that being said i uh have a couple of uh, personal stories to tell you um, about what happened to me at work the past couple of days. Um, so yesterday I was delivering to a, uh, I think it was a, uh, it's, I want to say OBGYN, but that it wasn't an OBGYN. It was just a, uh, a medical, uh, facility. Um, and I delivered to the medical facility. And, uh, as I was leaving, as I was backing out of my spot, um, there was a car behind me that as I was backing out, I saw him and I stopped. So he took it upon himself because he saw that the spot was going to be available. He just puts that bitch in reverse and just drives backward. Just not a care in the world. Just drives backwards. And uh, you hear a honk of a horn and then collision. Um, he had hit a person behind him all to, just to get my parking spot. And luckily he gave me enough room to where I could maneuver to get out of there. Um, but he got out of the car, the guy that he hit got out of his car. And uh, I heard, dude, you hit my fucking car. And I said, all right, I'm out of here. <laughs> they have uh, cameras uh, for this kind of shit. Uh, I don't have to stick around. So I just, see ya, out of there. And so I was just thinking about that the rest of the day. I'm like, how did that perspire? Like what happened? Uh, did the guys get into a fight? Did they settle it? Like, you know, how'd that, what happened? What did they do? What did they do? I've been thinking about it uh, all day yesterday and all day today. Like, how, did, how do they resolve it? Um, is it like, you know, meet me on the square, high noon, you know, type of thing? Or uh, is it like a, uh, well, here's my insurance information. Here's mine. Fuck you and have a nice day. Like, I don't know what happened. But anywho, um, and then today... I delivered my first delivery of the day. So I started off today with a banger. Um, today, my first delivery was to, unfortunately, a funeral at a church. And uh, I just had one thing. And so uh, I get there and the door's not open. Um, the service starts in an hour and uh, the door's locked. So I'm like, <sighs> oh my God. So I wait with this one lady, she got up there before I did, and you know, it's kind of windy and kind of cold, and she's, you know, crossing her arms, and she's shaking a little bit, she's an older lady, and uh, I was like, well, usually the doors are unlocked, but I guess not today, and uh, sure enough, I see a, I see the secretary, like, run up a, a flight of stairs to uh, come open the door for us, and she's like, I'm sorry, my doorbell's not working, because she rang the doorbell, the lady did a couple of times, and uh, so the secretary looks at me and she's like, is that all you have or do you have more? I was like, oh, I just have this one piece. Um, and uh, she's like, okay, cool. So, like, so I'm gonna take the elevator uh, because I'm already hindered with a uh, immobilizer on my left thumb. So, uh, and stairs, I would be having to go up against a couple of flight of stairs. I'm, like, I'm just gonna take the elevator because the sanctuary is on the second floor. And, uh, so I get there and there's already a, a couple of uh, people there. There's like probably about five or six people there. And uh, I walk in and he, the guy's like, oh, look, here come the flowers. 
and then I just like, hey, hey everybody, how you doing? And uh, so the guy is up on the stage, he looks down at me, and he said, are you Will? I said, no, sir. And he said, you're not Will? I said, no, I'm not Will, dude. I don't know who Will is. I like, he said, so you're not the sound guy. I'm like, no, nah, dude, I'm the flower guy. And he's like, oh, well, right on. You got the flowers here on time. And then he gives me a fist bump. And I was like, all right, y'all, have a good day. So like, that guy is either high on caffeine, cocaine, Jesus, or a mix of the three. And uh, so I was just like, that, that was weird. It was a weird encounter. So, so I told my wife today, I was like, I'm just de destined to encounter one, one, you know, weird situation, weird as shit situation. Because every day it just seems like that I, I encounter something where I'm like, did I really just witness that? Did that really just happen? Did he really just say that to me? You know, just like, did he just really give me a fist bump? Did that guy really back into that guy with like, he just yeeted himself right back? Um, what's going on? And uh, so that was, uh, that was an interesting thing. Just the, oh, really? Right, you got the flowers here right on time. He gives me a fist bump. And I'm just like, you can tell it's like one of those guys that tries too hard to be cool. Um, and, uh, you can tell he's just kind of like being like a, a guy's guy, but bro's bro. And then when he's around women, like, you know, he talks about like potpourri and, you know, having brunch and mimosas and shit like that kind of, <laughs> he's that, seems like that kind of guy. <laughs> you know, just adapts to his surrounding, which is fine. You know, let your freak flag fly only when you want to. Um, but regardless guys, I'm almost home. Uh, Chris is coming over. We're going to record the pick'em tonight. And, um, we're just uh, gonna have that out for y'all tomorrow before the uh, kickoffs of the first games. And uh, guys, I hope you have a good weekend. I hope you guys had a great week. And uh, I hope that uh, I'll talk to you guys very, very soon. Monday probably will be the day that I talk to you guys again. And uh, looking forward to it, especially talking to y'all. Always do. And uh, yeah, we'll uh, go from there. But guys, thank you all so much once again for dropping by. Let me go ahead and try to pull into this driveway before I get killed or hit. Because that motherfucker looked like he was about to hit me. <laughs> anyway, guys. Always remember my little pig. Let's call him Pork Chop. Loves y'all the most. It's still tight. I can't do it. It's tight. Y'all take it easy, guys. And I'll see y'all next time. Bye, guys.